What up, y'all? Welcome to Pooping with Plunkett. How y'all doing today? <sighs> I'm doing just fucking great. It's gonna be a good poop today, boys. There ain't no bullshit. Man. I just got back from uh, my old job I used to work at. They are having a big lunch thing, and for some reason they called me and wanted me to come in and eat lunch. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. I turned down some free food. My dad will beat my ass. So I went up there, got some free food. That shit was good, too, man. They got uh, this dude that does all his barbecue, like briskets and homemade baked beans, and some, I don't even know what the fuck it was, but it was bomb as fuck, and like pulled pork, and got his homemade fucking barbecue sauce. Fuck yeah, dude. And a uh, bunch of other shit, too. But this dude does, like, competition barbecues. So he's, like, knows what the fuck he's doing. Shit's so fucking good, man. I was like, fuck yeah, some free food? Shit. And of course, they're like, oh, hey, when are you coming back? I'm like, yeah, well. You know, I used to, I used to travel a lot. At that job, I tried, you know, I've told you stories before. I'll tell you a story about the Russian lady one of these days. Not today, because it's a... Uh... Oh, what the hell, yeah, I was in Chicago. There's a guy named David. Names are changed to pay, protect the innocent. And uh, we went to this fucking restaurant. Uh, some fucking pancake house, but they had like all kinds of other food too. It was a really good shit, man. I think we always got the, David got me to get the French dip things or some shit where you dip your fucking sandwich. The fuck are you doing, homie? You dip your sandwich in the shit and you eat it. Oh, come here, bitch. Oh, I got fucking Homer up in this bitch. He's falling. Hold on. Yeah. What the fuck, Homer? You got Death Wish being up in here? Look at them fucking thumbs on this motherfucker if I can get him. Look at that shit. Motherfucker's got thumbs for days, man. He needs to get a fucking job. He's got the thumb. He can do stuff. Yeah, he took off. He's like, dude, fuck this, man. Come on. That's fucking torture right there. Anyways, we're down in Chicago there. And, um... Went to this fucking restaurant. This bitch... I'm pretty sure she was Russian. She looked like that fucking dude on uh, on the Rocky movies, the big blonde dude that beat Rocky's ass. But she was a female. She had the muscles and everything, dude. She, pretty sure she was like an aspiring professional wrestler, which I found out later that night. So I'm sitting there uh, fucking with David. Yeah, he's sitting there like, oh, dude, you need to fuck her, dude. I'm like, dude, I ain't gonna fuck her, dude. She's gonna fuck me. So later we're out, after that, we're out in the parking lot drinking some beer and shit and talking about it. I'm like, dude, all right, man, when she comes up here, I'm gonna have a secret knock. I'm gonna knock three fucking times on the wall because he's in the next room over the hotel. I'm like, dude, you hear me knock three times, dude. You fucking come and fucking save me, dude. This bitch is putting me in a Boston crab. Yeah, well, I could only get two of the three knocks before she fucking dragged me away from the wall and fucking got a hold of me again. And on the bright side, it was easier to poop for a couple weeks. I mean, not less painful, but, you know, it just kind of fall right out. You know what I mean? It, uh, I was a little sore. Next couple of days from fighting for my life. Now, I never really fucked her. It was all just a big joke and still. First thing he said, hey, how's the Russian doing? How's old Pinky doing? Pinky's another story about a different place in Chicago. I'd been out there for, uh... Fuck, man. I think I was out there for like six weeks. And... You'd... 
get on the road for that long, you know, and, uh, you, you know, away from, uh, you know, things, uh, you know, at home, like, uh, girlfriend or wife, you know, that, uh, you know, you start to get a little lonely, you know what I'm saying? So, there's this concrete worker. From the front, he looked like straight up Hulk Hogan, dude. He, he was a big dude, you know, like all concrete workers are pretty big for the most part. But, uh, you know, he had the fucking big old mustache and this gorgeous blonde flowing hair. He looked like Hulk Hogan in his prime, not now. But one day he was wearing these nice tight fucking pants and his bright ass pink shirt. I mean, five or six weeks on the road will do things to you, you know, and I'd look over and I'd see him. He'd be facing the other way. I'd be like, oh, damn, look at that shit. You know, like, David's looking at him. So after about 20 times, I had to keep reminding myself, dude, remember what's on the other side of that, because uh, it's a dude, man. So that turned into a big joke. I still ain't lived down yet. Hey, how's Pinky doing? He's still talking to Pinky, man? Yeah, I'm a damn fucking motherfucker. It was just like the time I fucked a goat. You fuck one goat, and you never live it down, man. You're a dirty goat fucker for the rest of your life. But, anyways, alright y'all, wash your fucking hands after you poop.